Uh, President Edgar Lungo says government is implementing various projects aimed at improving people's access to clean drinking water and good sanitation services. President Lungo says the provision of a clean water and sanitation services is top on government's agenda because it is key in the fight against poverty. He says all water projects that are above 80% across the country will be completed and commissioned this year. President Lungu said this during the groundbreaking ceremony of the rehabilitation of water supply and sanitation improvement works for Mpika and Nakonde districts in Mpika district. The head of state also thanked the African Development Bank and other stakeholders for helping government to provide water to the people. Let's have the details. The provision of clean drinking water and sanitation services has remained top on President Edgar Lungo's agenda. This is why government has ever invested in the water sector. And today, the head of state commissioned works on the rehabilitation and construction of the water and sanitation infrastructure in Chiturika village of Mpika district. Speaking during the groundbreaking ceremony, President Lungu said government wants people, including those in rural areas, to have access to clean drinking water. Ladies and gentlemen, clean water supply to our people and good sanitary facilities remain top on our governmental agenda as a federal front government because we are conscious of the fact that good water supply is essential to ending poverty in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, through this project and other projects, my government remains committed to ensuring our people have access to clean and safe water, as well as access to adequate sanitation. This is what my government has recommended in our country's seventh national government plan. The head of state also announced that water projects that are above 80% across the country will be commissioned this year. Our target is that all citizens in the country must have access to clean and safe water supply by the year 2030. And also, our target is that 90% of our population must have access to clean services by the year 2030. My government is also implementing other projects across the country, most of which are above 80% complete, and these will be commissioned this year, 2021. These projects are meant to improve the lives of our people without leaving anyone behind. And Minister of Water Development Rafael Nakachinda urged the contractor to ensure that local contractors are engaged during the implementation of this project. As such, the contractor is expected to avail business opportunities to local contractors in Mpika worth $2.12 million through the actualization or implementation of the 20% government policy of subcontracting local contractors. Your Excellency, I'm glad to inform you today that my ministry has developed guidelines that outlines the process of executing the 20% subcontract, subcontracting policy. We are also grateful that with this development, the $11 million infrastructure, our people will be presented with business opportunities to the tune of $2.2 million, million worth of subcontracting. And a representative from China State Engineering Corporation said his firm will complete the works on schedule. The project will develop the water source at Wichila Falls, construction of con conventional water treatment plants at Malash, raw water transmission pipeline, concrete reservoirs. It's distribution water network and sanitation improvement works. The construction period of this project is uh, 18 months. And Government is hopeful that the majority of people in Zambia will have access to clean drinking water by 2030, going by the amount of money that have been pumped in the sector. Hector Simfukwe, ZNBC News, Chiturika Village. President Lungu uh, says there's need to come up with a policy that will guide government in terms of the provision of vehicles to chiefs. 
President Lungo says currently there's no policy and chiefs have to rely on the goodwill of the president and those in office. The head of state says in most cases he has had to use his personal initiative to engage stakeholders to buy vehicles for traditional leaders. President Lungo says this is why government wanted to normalize some of our chiefs' matters through the constitutional amendment bill number 10 of 2019. He says the PF understands the importance of chiefs in society, hence the decision by late President Michael Sata to create the Minister of Chiefs and Traditional Affairs. Uh, President Lungo says the PF has demonstrated its commitment to chiefs through the construction of palaces and provision of vehicles. He said this when he held a meeting with uh, chiefs in Impika district of Mchinga uh, province. Hector Simfukwe now reports. Mpika is one of the districts that has registered an increase in infrastructure development since the year 2011. Schools, hospitals and houses for civil servants are some of the projects that have been implemented in Mpika district. This state of affairs has shared the people of Mpika. This came to light when President Edgar Lungu held a meeting with traditional leaders in the district. <laughs> If not, Mpuishetemuyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeye
during these difficult times. This is contained in a statement issued to ZNBC, my special assistant for press, to the president for press and public relations, Isaac Chipampe. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.